chapter 7, lesson 1, is about symmetric figures and lines of symmetry. So um, here, uh, we have to know that lines of symmetries could technically be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. Okay, so if we look at a square, it's easiest to do with a square. Okay. But if we fold this way, it's symmetric. If we fold this way, it's symmetric. So when we say symmetric, the figure when it's folded are identical. If we fold this way diagonally, that would also be symmetric because if you fold over, that gives you the same triangle. Okay, now to see better for a rectangle, here's a bond paper. If I fold vertically, that would be symmetric because the figure on the front and the back are the same. Okay, if we do horizontal folding, that will also be symmetric because they're the same. So which means you can't see the other part of the figure. However, if I fold diagonally, if I fold diagonally, you'll see that this is not symmetric anymore because you see parts that are not meeting up. So um, uh, the tool again will be to draw the line of symmetry if you are asked if they're symmetric or not. Okay, so the, fit, the problems that we will be doing will be on page 114. Okay, so it says in each number three, it says in each of the following figures uh, is each of the dotted lines a line of symmetry. Okay, so looking at A, C, and E. Okay, so the first one is a square, and I have discussed that a square would be symmetric even if it's at the diagonal. So that means this is yes. So that's the line of symmetry. Okay, in C, it's a rectangle. Okay, and what they did was they cut it diagonally. So if you fold over, that would not be symmetrical. Okay, and in E, it's a hexagon. Okay, so if you fold over this way, that will give you the same figure. So that means, yes, that is a line of symmetry. So, which means what we need to be able to do is visualize the folding. So if we fold this way, that's also symmetrical. But if we fold, if we try to fold this way, you'll see that would also be symmetrical because that point would have landed here. So um, it's all visual aid, okay? And hopefully with that, your kids will be able to see the logic behind symmetry. That concludes lesson one of chapter seven. See you in the next lesson.